Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you another journal that I've completed. Uh, this is another fabric covered journal. Um, everything inside this is from Tsunami Rose. So I think I will call this my Tsunami Rose journal. <laughs> um, there is various different collections from Tsunami Rose in this as well. It's not just one, um, you know, like one kit or anything. There's, uh, <clears throat> there is uh, charming fragments and then loads of the like ephemera kits. Um, so I will link Tsunami Rose, um, her shop, Daisy that is. Um, I will link Daisy's shop below and you can go over and have a great big look at all the... Um, all the kits, all the digital kits that she's got on there. So anyway, back to this journal. It measures eight and a quarter this way by five and three quarters that way. It's got one signature, a bit of a curved spine. Um, fabric cover. Um, I've done this tag on the back and I've coloured it in using my Prisma um, watercolour pencils and done some stamping. It's not stamping, stencil, stamping and stenciling. Um, this beautiful trim that I've got on the edge here was gifted to me by um, Amelia. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to do when I don't have any more of this. <laughs> it is so pretty. Um, there is a little bit of lace underneath that as well. This fabric here I got from, um, I think it was uh, The Range. Um, image here is from Tsunami Rose. Done some stitching on there. This little bit of trim here again is from Amelia. Uh, Eyelets and organza ribbon closure. Um, don't know if I said eight, 80 pages front and back. I can't remember. So it's fabric on the inside as well. Just making sure I'm in frame. Uh, I will do a flip through. So here we've just got um, back to using butterflies. I haven't used butterflies in ages, so I thought I'd use some butterflies. Um, a corner flip. Um, ephemera from Tsunami Rose and a tag. These, um, I'm actually, I, I'm not going to keep saying tsunami rules because it's all, all, all from there. So I'm just going to flip through. <laughs> if there's anything amazing that I've done, I will tell you. Um, these I just um, shrunk down a little bit and popped them onto some index cards. These are little file folders and I've staggered, there's quite a few of these throughout the journal and I've kind of staggered them so that it looks like tabs. So you can kind of see the tabs um, hanging out. Just filled with lots of ephemera. This has been backed onto some coffee dyed paper and everything is more or less movable apart from the pockets that are stuck down I'm just trying to stretch right around this tripody thing love that love this charming fra fragments kit it's one of my favorites here i've just made a pocket from a book page and put in a large tag that says beautiful you paper bag here that i got from amelia um, actually telling lies, these um, Italian music sheet printables are not from Tsunami Rolls. <laughs> I can't remember who they're from. So there's lined paper, there is more ephemera, and this is like a fold out which I've just stenciled on there. Uh, just added some trim on there as well. Oh. I'm useless at doing this. It's like you need extra long arms to get around tripods. There we go, and that's fell off, and that's just stenciled on the back. Belly band here, just some ephemera in there. Lots of places to journal. These are lovely. Um, they're I think they're pockets. I'm using them as pockets. They are pockets, I believe. Um, but they're, they're again, tsunami rolls, but they are lovely. Here is um, an envelope which can be taken off, as you can see. And I've just done a double doily here with some butterflies. And obviously you can put things inside it. And that just goes on there, like so. 
some more of these. See the tabs have kind of swung in a little bit. <clears throat> some more of these backed onto um, index cards. Sorry, I know some people don't like all the um, putting out, waiting to put everything back on, but if I leave it all out, I won't, I'll never know where to put it all back in again. Made one of these, is it a tuckalope? I think it's called. Now, I can't remember who showed how to do this, but it's an amazing little thing. And I just made it out of um, some scrap um, paper that I had. It was just cream paper. So I just made that, put some trim on here and a little flower and a tag. And this is from one of Daisy's kits. And I just folded it up, popped it in there. Another paper bag. This is the medal of the signature and I've just got hearts on a string and we've got two large um, index cards and some more ephemera that's just the same and on that one's upside down and these both flip up the other side of the other side of the paper bag Another um, pocket made out of a book page. Another one of these monthly, I'm not going to take it all off, monthly calendars with another file folder. Some more ephemera. This is a bread bag and inside there is that tag. Inside there, well on top of here is a glassine bag from a tattered dream and this was just a scrap piece and I stamped this on some cardstock and then inked it up and it says all good things are wild and free it's got some lace here and a ticket and a butterfly another one of these pockets love them pockets um, this I just sewed onto some doubled over coffee dyed paper and made a large tag no that doesn't want to go in I'll just set that there. <laughs> Belly band, some more ephemera. Love that this ephemera. It's so um, colourful. Sorry, I was distracted then. I need longer arms. Another tag, and that's just um, stenciled on the back. And don't like that. And some more ephemera, which just tucks in there. Paper bag. Made an envelope, which is also a tuck spot. And this is one of the pages. And I just folded it up, and you can pop it in here or in the back. Some more of these um, file folders, which I absolutely love. And again, one of these, these are so pretty. Just uh, on an index card again. And, oops, I'll just sort that in a minute. <laughs> this and this and this has just fell off. So that's one of these flip outs again. It's just been stenciled on, tag, and this ephemera piece. And that all just goes on. I'm just so far back from this tripod at the moment, it's unbelievable. <laughs> there we go. I'll sort that a bit neater in a minute. And here we've just got some more ephemera in a pocket which it flips up, which I've glued. Glued, glued. There we go. And that is the back. So that is the journal. Um, <clears throat> just a quick note because this will be for sale on my Etsy. Um, after having two issues of recently um, sending it internationally, specifically the USA, um, I'm going to be doing all my international postage now with track and signed for only. There's, I'm not just going to be sending it through Royal Mail first class. Um, it's too much hassle. Um, it's you know it's upsetting when 
items don't arrive and I've got proof of postage and it's clearly you know being accepted into the Royal Mail system here in the UK and then it gets you know it once it hits the US it just seems to disappear so you know it's I'm, it's really disappointing um, I'm I've got two issues at the moment which um, obviously are being looked into um, so to stop all this it's just going to be signed for for now from now on um, I do think just the the standard um, Royal Mail things are more likely to go missing through that I can still claim on that anyway but it's still the hassle of either replacing the the, the money that obviously was spent on the journal and or also having to make another one to replace it um, so I really think that just up in the price it's not a great deal it's not a great deal that it's gone up by um, but I just wanted to mention that and my reasons for doing that um, it was just a, a decision that I thought would probably be a, a better way especially since this only ever happens to items in the USA um, I'd, things have turned up maybe a little bit late later than normal um, in the USA, you know, normally anything between five to seven working days and it's there. Sometimes things have taken three and four weeks and turned up and even that's a worry. But for things to, uh, these two particular items have actually been about five to six weeks and, you know, there's no record of it once it's re received into the US, um, which is really disappointing. But anyway, that was my reasons. Um, this is my journal. It will be listed on Etsy. If you're interested, the links will be below. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.